Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to check out a Patreon request from this patron right here, Amorphous The Wind. We haven't done any Amorphous on the channel since Queen of Time, since the album came out in 2018. I believe that was 2018. Yeah, yeah 2018. So it's been a long time. Almost, almost three years. Yeah, we're getting to the three year mark. Let's just go with three years. It's been three years since we've done... I don't think we've done anything since that time. Among so Stars, I think, was the last song we did on the channel. And that was done the day that the album came out, because that video came out on the Friday that they released the album. I don't think we've done any Amorphous since then. I could yeah. be wrong, but I, I don't think I am. I, I think it's been a very long gap uh, between uh, us checking out some Amorphous on the channel. Yeah. So, are you excited about this, The Wind? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. All right, let's do it.
didn't have a, a lighter. Yeah. So I had to use the, the, the light on my I cell I was wondering phone. where you were going with that, because I see you picking it up. <laughs> I'm like, that chorus. Come on, that chorus, you need a, you need a lighter in I that chorus. Gonna, I thought you were just going to tweet, just listening to God himself. Oh, my God. That chorus was orgasmic. Oh, yeah. You know, I was just waiting for it to come back every time. I was enjoying myself, but every single time it would leave me, I felt a little bit of sadness in my heart. And then it came back and awe. Oh, just... It made me feel whole. This guy can impregnate women with his voice. That, that's that, that's how how potent uh, his mojo is. I mean, I mean, Tommy, I, I have a huge men crush on the guy. I mean, it's it's no lie. Uh, I mean, everybody knows that. I think everybody knows. I think that. everyone knows it. Yeah. I, every time they play in Toronto, I, I feel like they add two extra security guards in the pit in front of me just to keep me away from him yeah and and perhaps a few extra uh, metal railings just to keep us apart because you know like man if i lived in finland uh, he would have had to have some sort of restraining, restraining order a hundred percent i would i would be camping outside his house you know slashing one of his tires and then offering to help by calling caa i don't think they have caa in oh. finland they probably have Perkele in, in Finland. Perkele, yeah. Perkele, <laughs> you know, in Finland. Because when you finally have a flat tire, the first thing you say it's is Perkele. perkele. Yeah. And then you call Perkele to come and fix your flat tire. Uh, if they don't have that, they should also have that. Uh, dude, I don't know in this song, what what, what do I enjoy the most? Did I enjoy that in, in the chorus? The, the song, by the way, starts very proggy. It has a lot of prog elements into it. It's folky, I mean... The, there's the, some the flute, the flute yeah. right? Like there's, man, the, the 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 flute has an incredible sound. It was also really cool to see that they could transfer, uh, the the flute sound um in the start to the guitar. Like they can make the same sound with the guitar that they they have. The transition is super smooth. Oh, it's super smooth too, and it just sounds so nice coming from. The, it's so nice to see, uh, so so nice to hear. The, the flute being played also with the guitar and them side by side. These guys, this whole band, they could record themselves in the studio farting and, and the song would come out like absolutely phenomenal. It, w it would win an award for the best song of the year and it would be just fart noises and perhaps some burps. It, 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 some people are ridiculously talented and, and this band is one of those bands like... That guitar, that first guitar solo is amazing. The, the, the keyboard, keyboard that comes after it, it's it's even like it, it becomes even better. And then, and like, then we, the, can't, uh, we can't end you with the keyboard. We're gonna go no, back we're gonna to give you a solo even better than the first solo that we gave you. Yeah. Because that one was good. But guess what? We can do even better. And then the second solo that comes, the third, well, second guitar solo, but technically the third, the third solo. solo, is even better. Like it's absolutely magnificent. Like it's. It was incredible. That sequence there, musically, that sequence is incredible. Guitar solo, the keyboard, and then the, the second, the, the last guitar solo. That sequence is incredible. That last guitar solo is just outstanding. I, I was talking to the other day to to Craig and Loom from um, Heathen about about guitar playing and whatever, and he was like, uh, you know, I don't think a song should have a solo just for the sake of having a solo. The solo needs to add something to the song. It has to be an extension. Of what the song is all about talking about solos there are an extension of what this song is all about because if you think about the how the song starts very proggy with the, all those elements the flute the transition of the sound of the flute into the guitars like the way the song is built musically that solo is kind of like a microcosms of everything that would that it happened w within the song musically all the transitions from that first solo to the keyboard it's so smooth yeah. It, 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 it's almost like it's the same instrument. It's not the same instrument, but it almost feels like it's an extension of one is an yeah. extension of the other. And then the, the, the soul that comes after becomes even a longer extension of the previous one. It's just incredible. And then when he hits you with, with his wind, oh. I hope he's not passing wind, but at this point, honestly, I don't care if he's passing wind or not. Maybe well, he's the, calling, he's maybe, calling you his wind. Maybe he goes back to the whole recording of the farts. Oh. You are my wind. Yeah. You know? So... That chorus, that chorus is the wind in my sails. It's just it's heartwarming. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. The tone of his delivery, uh, uh, musically, the chorus becomes super melodic. It, it, it creates the perfect cocoon 
musically for for what he does with his voice. His voice is so warm, so delicate. Do, do, do you see what I'm saying? The way he delivers in that chorus, it's absolutely out. Like just, you can feel the warm breeze of the wind on a summer day hitting you in the face. You know, yeah. you, you, you know, in the summer when it's really hot, but you get a little bit of a breeze, but the breeze doesn't make you feel any cooler because the wind is actually hot as well or has a little bit of a warmth with, to it. That's exactly how that chorus felt. Absolutely magni magnificent. Magnificent. That chorus just... The whole song. I'm not trying to say this song is just... It lives off of the chorus. But I don't know about you, but for me... Oh, that, I, I couldn't wait for it. I couldn't wait for the chorus to come back. I couldn't wait for it. You know, I was enjoying myself between the chorus, but every time the chorus left, it felt like part of me left with it. And then every time it came back, I was just... The good I, thing is you always know it's going to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're kind of Especially like... after the solos, I'm like, oh... You know it's gonna finish off the song, and uh, and the wind is coming. And the wind is coming. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you. The, the solos were magnificent, but throughout the whole song, the, the chorus is, is that is what brought me back. Yeah, it keeps bringing you back. And it's gonna keep bringing me back to the song. It's just a magnificently constructed track musically and vocally, and then the, the solo is the is the heartbeat of the track. Is what keeps pumping blood and energy throughout the song, and it's like you said, it's what's gonna come. Uh, keep bringing you back into the track because the track is magnificent. But when you walk away from the song, you you wouldn't you wouldn't remember, remember the solos and stuff. But I think but what you remember more is the chorus. The chorus, a hundred percent. If I asked you six months from now, eight months from now, hey, remember that amorphous song, "The Wind"? I think the first thing is going to come to your mind is you the chorus. Are my wind. Like I think that's what's going to come to your mind. Th this this song is going to be stuck in my head for the next couple months, and you know what? I don't mind. I, this band uh, gives me the the um, what do you call him? Uh, what's the name of the dude? Uh, Stevie Wonder it gives me the Stevie Wonder complex. Uh, they're one of those bands that gives or me the Stevie. Like this. I'm just going like this the whole time. You know, I'm just going like this. You know, like I don't even headbang. Nice. I, I, I've seen them live twice, and both times live, I'm I'm like this. <laughs> on the railing. You're just looking at me. I'm like, just looking like You're like a schoolgirl. Yeah. Like I'm I'm all like I'm all like I don't know, like what, what do you call it? I'm trying to find a word here that I and I can't just turn into a schoolgirl. Yeah, I'm I'm just mesmerized by everything, by the music, by what I'm watching, by by everything. Like every time I go see these guys live, that's the experience that, that I have. I tell all the bitches to get out of my way in the front row. I I, I park myself there. Sometimes I put the sweater over the railing so I can have something cushiony for my elbows. You put your hands like this. <sighs> and I go like this. Yeah. That's me. Like, I, I, like, seriously, I don't even know what's happening around me. I'm just you so don't like... You know, you just need to look at the stage. I, I, these guys are just incredible. I, I actually, uh, during the quarantine, they, pref they, they had a live stream, back-to-back -back nights. I watched back-to-back -back nights. Uh, they're one of the few bands... And, and there was really only a very selected few bands that I could go watch play the same set. Same set. I, like, song for song. I, I Honestly, I couldn't care less. I could go watch for a, a week in a row. Go watch them a week in a row play the same set. I could care less. I don't care if you don't change any songs. I don't, I don't even care if you play the same song on loop. I, I don't care. I just want to be there. They have such a, an incredible presence live. The... the the aroma, the, the the warmth that you get from the music when you listen live, live is even, you're levitating. It's like you're on acid without taking drugs. You know what I mean? It's just amorphous. Enough said. Enough said. You just have to say the name of the band and that's it. Enough said. Enough said. If, 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 man, if I was to have another kid, I would name him Amorphous. Maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. Maybe middle name. Johnny Amorphous. Wow, sounds like a superhero. Yeah, it does. All right, that maybe now that's a great. Maybe you can think about that when you have a kid. I'm not naming my kid Amorphous. <laughs> Although I'd love to, I'm not naming my kid Amorphous because right. it's also very close to Morpheus from uh, from uh, Matrix. <laughs> okay. All right. On that uh, disturbing and wonderful note, uh, we have to go, but we'll be back tomorrow with more videos. See you guys. See ya.